Hi Taurus, welcome to the channel. I'm the Sag Moon Diva for those of you all that are new. For those of you that are returning, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for all the likes, the comments, the shares, as well as the donations and keeping your girl booked and busy with the personal readings. If you guys are interested in one, you can always find the information down below in the description box, as well as pinned in the comments. So I am going to do your love and career reading for today. If you guys are interested in the career side, you find that at the end of the video. But of course, my first love is love and relationships. So I'm going to go ahead and start with that. And let's see what energy uh, we have here. I have meditated already. I've already mixed your cards, put them out here, and let's see what comes through. So you have the Empress in the reverse, the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse, the Hierophant in the reverse, Page of Cups and the Ace of Wands in the reverse at the beginning of your spread. So with this energy here, basically, uh, for some of you all, there could be an issue around uh, someone being jealous in this relationship or situationship or uh, it could have been something that you dealt with in the past for those of you all that are single dealing with people that were jealous, dealing with people that were very clingy. And I feel like for some of you all, you're feeling a lack of progress when it comes to love, okay? I feel like some of you feel there is, um, for the singles, there's not a lot of love potentials that you're really interested in. For those of you all that are in a relationship, I feel like there's no results coming from your relationship. You're feeling like you can't force love basically accepting the fact that you can't force love because for some of you all this relationship feels as if it is stale okay this feels as if they're um you and your person's values are not aligned is the energy that i'm getting here with the hierophant in the reverse all right basically um for some of you you're having this issue of being in a relationship with someone and it's not really progressing it's not going anywhere the person um that you're with may not um be ready to settle down yet to get married Marry or to get engaged and you're starting to ask yourself or you're starting to really look at having a new perspective on relationships and you're starting to accept the fact that this love and romance that you have with this person is not what you pictured it to be all right you're coming up as the king of cups in the upright all right with the energy of the king of cups this is the energy of somebody using their head and their heart instead of using just their heart or just their head to make a decision when it comes to love i feel like some of you all are very uh are very compassionate people um, but you're also very calming, all right? And I feel that the people that you sometimes end up with are a lot to handle, okay? Um, maybe too hard to handle, too hard to tie down, that type of energy. Maybe they uh, still want to kind of live a fast life and not really necessarily ready, ready to be in a commitment like you all are ready to be. And I feel like you all are in the energy of wanting to settle down, but you tend to find people that are still a little bit more maybe career driven, focusing more on work, or they still want to kind of play the field. It's the energy that I'm getting here. So it's basically time, basically time. That's exactly it. It's time's up for, I feel like you all are saying it's time's up for BS. Okay. I feel like some of y'all, you're tired of short-term relationships that are very hot and heavy, very passionate. Okay. Because we do have this ace of wands here in the reverse. This is all about having a lot of sex, a lot of energy, a lot of fun in a relationship, but you're not getting a lot of romance is the energy that is coming through here. So with this, there's also a lack of excitement around relationship because it's like, you can lay up with some Somebody every day all right but at the end of the day um, a person that is relationship oriented is going to want all that comes with a relationship okay so basically it's being tired of these short-term love affairs okay and with this ace of swords in the reverse it continues on with this feeling of um i feel like there's a failure to communicate or you're having a hard time communicating with your partner maybe your communication styles are different i feel like this ends up leading to a lot of clashes a lot of arguments ace of swords aces uh swords are all about communication okay and i feel that there's a breakdown of communication of, again a lot of clashing perspectives and a lot of nasty words being thrown okay for some of you all there's a lot of painful words things that can't be taken back and for somebody um that i had mentioned before coming off as compassionate and calming this is
is messing up your energy and your flow. So you have to say to yourself, you know what? If I'm in a situation I'm not happy in, or I'm in a situation where I'm bored, okay, four of cups, four of cups. Some of you all are definitely bored. If I'm in a situation where I am bored, I'm unhappy, I'm frustrated, like with this three of wands, frustration, obstacles in love, learning to compromise in love. If you're the only one doing the compromising, you're the only one that is trying to overcome these obstacles in a relationship, then all that's going to be left in the end is a decision. All right. And that eight of cups, that decision usually indicates if you see here where this person's back is turned, they turn their back towards the situation and they realize, you know what, it's time for me to leave an unhappy relationship. All right. And for some of you all, this has more so to do with realizing your self-worth. Some of you all may have gotten into relationships where you weren't feeling so good about yourselves at the time. And then you realize that you kind of settled and ended up with somebody that didn't really fulfill all of your needs. So this eight of cups, not only could it signal you walking away from a situation, but it's accepting that, you know what? I think I might have issues around abandonment. All right. I have a big fear around abandonment issues. And this is the reason why I'm staying with somebody that I'm not happy with. So now it's time for me once again to use my head and my heart in this situation and decide what is best for me. Do I stay or do I go? OK, and this is. You know, for some people, they will overlook this, but I feel like for you, Tarians, I feel like you all have gotten to the point where you're saying, you know what? It's no longer me being on the back burner. It's no longer me pushing my frustrations aside, you know, dealing with drama I don't have to deal with when I could simply, I can, you know, I can do bad all by myself is the energy that's coming through. Some of you all are truly realizing that you can do bad all by yourselves. All right, so let's take a look here further at this relationship situation. Yeah, yeah, Some I'm telling you, some of you all are really doing some introspection and realizing that it's your self-image that needs an overhaul, okay? Starting to really look at yourself in a situation and realizing, I've created this problem. Now it's time for me, and I know that only I can fix this, is the energy that's coming through. Because you're not getting, you're not receiving what you need in this relationship. And you know that for some of you all, you're realizing you're not getting what you need. It's time for you all to move on. And it's time for you all to stop straddling the fence, okay? Because some of you all are having an issue with closing a relationship out simply due to abandonment issues, okay? So you're basically trying to rebuild or you're focusing on rebuilding or you soon will um, rebuild this because you don't want to keep doing a repetitive thing of trying to work on a relationship that is not worth your energy and our time, okay? Photograph here. Wanting to make new memories, all right? You all are wanting to do something different. You're tired of looking back. You're tired of the past. You're tired of the old way of doing things, okay? Because at the end of the day, a lot of you all want to progress in these relationships and take it to the next level, all right? This is the engagement ring, all right? This is all about partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. And if you're not getting your needs met, then what is the point of the relationship? Because dating is not just dating. If you, you're in a, when you're dating, you're dating to go somewhere. What's that next step? We're dating. And then we get into, we get engaged. We're engaged. Okay, cool. Now it's time. We're going to get married. All right. We're going to get married. Now it's time. We're going to have children for those that want children, who those who want st that stability, you know, past just being in a relationship. Um, I'm telling you, some of you all are tired of being um, in a relationship, a situationship for some. Some of you all are just tired of being single and dating people that is only short term. So you have to look within and fix those issues and say to yourself, all right, do I want to keep working on something that's not working or do I want to move forward and try something new? All right, so I want to go ahead and look at some fortune cards surrounding your dating life. And then, of course, we're going to get into... Um, the career side of it. Give me the most important messages, please. What are the most important messages to close out the love aspect for the sign of Taurus? Wow. Yeah, some of you all are definitely 
breaking your egos down, changing. Some of you all could be in a relationship with Scorpios. Some of you all could uh, be walking away from a Scorpio. Some of you all could be walking to someone of this particular sign. Doesn't have to be that for everyone, but they're telling you basically to be prepared, all right? Be prepared to be renewed after a period of crisis. Some of you all, I feel like this situation has really woken you up, made you start to look at things differently. With the mountain card, it says, know that you are protected as you face challenges, but remain cautious. All right, you know that this is not going to be easy, but you have to do what makes you happy. And I love this card here. The lover's card here, it says there are two paths ahead. Be true to yourself. What do you really want? Do you want to stay in a relationship where you're not having all of your needs met? Or do you want to go another path and choose yourself? All right, at the end of the day, the decision is, is, is left up to you. What well, this lover's card could also signify that some of you all are dealing with a Gemini or will soon deal with a Gemini is the energy that's coming through as well. But yeah, the choice is up to you. What are you going to do from this point on to make you happy? All right, now let's go ahead and look at this from a career aspect, all right? Because everybody's not dealing with love. So when it comes to a career aspect, I feel like some of you all, with this Empress energy in the reverse, some of you all are feeling insecure at work, all right? This is the feeling of feeling like you're not growing with your skills. Your job is at a stalemate. You may feel bored, all right? You feel stifled. You feel held back. You feel confined to what it is that you're doing. And with that seven of pentacles in the reverse, again, no results for the work that you've been putting in. I feel like some of you all have been working. You haven't been receiving raises or you haven't been receiving enough of a raise for you to really, um, you know, to really boost your morale around the workplace. All right. It's the energy that's coming here. And then you also have this Hierophant in the reverse. Okay. Hierophant is the Taurus energy. All right. This is you. This is how you're, this is how you're coming up in your energy at, in the reverse. All right. Again, feeling as if I feel like for some of you all, there's some peer pressure around you. All right. It could be some peer pressure amongst your colleagues could be from the higher ups. I feel like there are people that are pressuring you or I don't know why. The first thing I thought of was that some of you all are dealing with a micromanaging supervisor, somebody that's constantly over your shoulder for a job that I feel like some of you all feel doesn't need all of that extra over the shoulder work. It's like, let me do my job. I'm going to need you to stay over there and we'll be cool. It's kind of like <clears throat> feeling like you're you're being pushed basically to a break. I feel like some of you all just need a break as well. I feel like you're working way too hard. You need to give yourself some time. Okay. I totally relate being a Taurus rising person. I can work myself to death and I have to learn. I always have to teach myself or tell myself, pull back. Everything doesn't have to be done a day. Rome wasn't built in a day. Okay. Cause if I don't do that, then I'll just keep working and working and working until exhaustion, okay? So with this page of cups, <clears throat> this is all about finding a creative outlet, all right, at work. This is also about daydreaming about your career. I feel like some of you all are spending a lot more time daydreaming than you actually are putting in the work, okay? Daydreaming of another life, you know, oh man, work would be so great if I could do this, or I've always wanted to do that. Well, if you always wanted to do those things, there's nothing wrong with doing it on the side. If you have a little time on the side to work on, you know, a hobby or something that you want to do that you feel will be fruitful in the future, then why not work on that? Why do you want to spend so much time daydreaming about something you can put into fruition is the energy here. With this Ace of Wands in the reverse, this is all about somebody lacking inspiration at work, feeling uncreative and lacking progress, okay? So um, the, the morale, the passion is not there. The energy is not there. The fun, the excitement that you felt initially is just not there. So I also feel that communication as well is something that is blocking you all. All right, uh, communicating with your, your supervisors, letting them know, or you being the boss all right it, 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 some you know having to tell the you know your subordinates hey i need i need you all to do this or i need you to do that there's communication these people need to have a plan set in action okay it's the energy here so if you're unable to express your thoughts 
then how is anything going to get fixed, okay? With this three of wands in a reverse, uh, there's definitely some obstacles in your career path. It's that lack of growth and challenge that's really bothering you. Some of you all completely feel caged. I feel like a lot of this has to do with the fact that you're needing a vacation for some of you all. You have to ask yourself, when is the last time I've really gone on a vacation? Not taking off work just so I can go to a doctor's appointment or do something for somebody else. But when have you, when is the last time you actually took a vacation and you went out and you just got a breather? You went on a trip, you stayed at a hotel, you enjoyed yourself. Okay. And for some of you all, what this also indicates, all right, with this eight of cups is that some of you all are literally at the point where you say, you know you're not happy to the point where you know it is time basically for you to leave an unfulfilling job is the energy because escaping into daydreaming basically it's it's not going to change your situation we know that people just can't get up and drop a job at the drop at the drop of a dime but there are things that you can do all right, you can look for something else while you're here. You can also work on something, like I mentioned earlier, on the side that will give you that satisfaction. And if you want to eventually turn it into something bigger, then you can walk away from what is not making you happy, okay? Because this job is affecting your home life. All right, for some of you all, these two situations are merging together. Here you are, not happy at work, but you're also not happy at home with your partner. You're bored at work, you're bored at home, but you're just, you're just daydreaming of a new life. All right, some of you all are just daydreaming about a new life. I'm telling you, that King of Cups energy that you all are coming up in, this is somebody that, that has to have balance in their life, all right? When I say balance for a king of cups, they have to have that balance of emotions and being practical and logical. All those needs need to be met. And right now, I feel like your needs are not being met where you are, where you are at work and for some of you all, where you are at home as well. All right, you're gonna gain wisdom from this situation that's gonna lead you to a new stage in your life. I feel like some of you all are lacking admiration. You, you know, you're not feeling like you're, you're, feeling like you're, you're not getting the respect that you deserve. And for some of you, this is on both fronts, at home as well as in the workplace. So how can you be happy if nothing around you is fulfilling you? It's time for a wake-up call. What is making the Taurus happy? Not everybody else. Because you matter too, is this energy I'm telling you. You got to understand that you matter as well. You don't just have to sacrifice your happiness for a check. You don't have to just satisfy your happiness for other people. Start with yourself. Okay? Let's see what energy. Yeah. You all wish so much that things would change. You want it to change so bad. Your heart's desire, though, is ready to come true. But the thing is, you have to take that leap of faith. Because fear is holding you back. Doubt is holding you back. All right? I'm telling you, some of you all have been through hell. And you've been weathering that storm so well, but at some point, some point, those challenges become too much, okay? Weathering the challenges ahead, it is going to bring you a new perspective on your future. I'm telling you, you all are going through changes. I'm telling you, some of you all are definitely dealing with a Scorpio. Because even in a career aspect, here's that Scorpio energy. But this is also an indication of somebody going through a transformation. It's time for something in your life to end. So that something new can come from it. All right, let's see what blessings are coming your way. All right, what are the blessings that are coming the way when it comes to the Taurus? Wow, what did I tell you? It's a spiritual journey for some of you all. You all have been, you're being challenged. You're being pushed to step out of your comfort zone again. I understand the energy of a Taurus like nobody else, all right? We, um, I said we, I'm sorry, but me being a Taurus rising, and I can explain this so well because I, I'm that person. We love the comfort of a routine. We love for things to, you know, not change too much. We like the comfort. We like the comfort of knowing that our, our checks are going to come every week or every two weeks or monthly, however you get paid, but... Sometimes we can become too complacent to the point where we're not, we wake up one day and realize that we're not living, okay? 
we realize that we're not living. That's when I tap into my Aquarius energy, that Aquarius sun that I have and that Sagittarius moon. That's when I say, F that, I'm going to be happy regardless. And I feel like you all are tapping into this energy. I feel like that, that stubbornness is there or that, you know, that need to want to stick your hooves into the, <laughs> what do they call it? Stick your hooves into the ground as a bull. And, and, but now you're ready to fight. That bull is ready to charge because you can't do this anymore. You can't be complacent anymore. There's going to be a blessing on your journey. I'm telling you, some of you all are walking away from people that are not serving you. You're walking away from jobs that are not serving you. You all are going to start doing what makes you happy and damn what everybody else thinks. Okay? I'm telling you, whatever you're going towards is going to bring you prosperity, but you must hold on and you must remain positive because it's coming. Trust me, you didn't go through all that hell for nothing. All right? What's that saying? He didn't bring you this far to leave you. Okay, he did it. And I'm telling you, there is going to be a blessing of peace after battle. You're tired of fighting. You're tired of doing all the work and you're never getting any credit for it. You're tired of being in a relationship and never getting that love and affection that you need. A Taurus needs love and affection. And if you're not getting that at home and you're not getting the admiration you need from your job and your career, then something's got to give. Something's got to give, Taurus. Again, I apologize for how the noise was in the background, but I truly hope that somebody is getting this message because I feel like it's, it's meant for someone. Even if it's just one person, it's meant for you. It's time for you to live your life on your terms. Let's go ahead, close this reading off with my three favorite Oracle decks and see what comes through. All right, give me the final messages for the sign of Taurus overall. Final messages for the sign of Taurus overall, please. I don't know what kind of incense I have. This new one, it is burning in the weirdest way. Why is it hanging like that? <laughs> I'm going to show you guys just how weird this thing looks before I close it out. What the heck is going on with my incense? What in the heck? Has anybody else had an incense do that before? I don't know. Could be a sign. Some of you all see you're still hanging on. Don't want to let go of something or somebody. Let it go, Taurus. You even got my incense over here acting a fool. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm just being silly. Now, <laughs> back to what I was saying. Let's close it off with the final messages here. It says, yes, you all need a break. Take time to breathe out. Take some time to breathe out. You've been working so hard. You've been fighting a battle for so long. Get a break. You need it. All right. Something good is going to grow from this. I'm telling you, you all are stepping into this ace of swords and the upright energy. All right, Queen of Swords. I love this Queen of Swords energy. This is somebody that's no longer taking anything. I'm cutting out people that don't serve me, and I'm putting people into my life that do. All right? You also have the Humpback Well as a spirit animal guide. It says, music is essential to your healing and well-being, whether singing, playing an instrument, or listening. Some of you all are good musicians. Some of you all are good at singing, and some of you all can play on um, Pandora or whatever, and it brings you happiness. Go towards this, all right? Go towards this energy. For some of you all, this is a gift. This is a talent that you have. For some of you all, you really want to pursue it, but you feel like it's a pipe dream. Do what makes you happy, all right? If you guys enjoyed this message, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Again, I'm the Sag Moon Diva. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, you can find all of that information, again, down below in the description box, as well as pinned in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.